Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to yet another episode of Teens Biz Talk. We are so happy you were able to join us today. We are super excited about our guests that we have today, Woo! and all the yumminess that she does, <laughs> and all the yumminess that she's going to be talking about. So make sure you tune in to the very end. You do not want to miss what she is going to share with us today. But just before we get started with that, um, we want to let you know that uh, this is Teens Biz Talk, where we talk with other teenage entrepreneurs about what they do, how they got started, how they continued in business, and definitely some tips and recommendations in case that is, or in case rather you are considering going down the entrepreneurship journey of life, All right? So uh, just to let you know, today's episode is being sponsored by Bateman Empowering Educators. At Bateman Empowering Educators, we take away the trial and error method of your teenager learning about money and replace it with a practical blueprint to equip them to create a five-star financial future. So be sure to click on the link below, find out what types of tools and resources we have available for you. So now let's get into it. We are so, so excited to have Kanaja with us today. How are you, Kanaja? I'm good. How are you? I am well. I am well. So thank you again for taking time out of your, I know, super busy <laughs> schedule to come talk to us in our community today, um, just a bit about what it is you do. So before we jump into that, though, if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, my name is Kinaja. I am a self-taught 15-year-old baker and entrepreneur. Um, my business specializes in custom cakes and cupcakes. But um, besides baking, I am a sophomore in high school, and I also play the piano and the viola. Awesome. You said the piano and what else? Viola. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So there is just creativity oozing out of you in, in so many forms. Wow, you really, it sounds like you express yourself in a lot of artistic ways. That is great. So you share that you are self-taught. What inspired you to, um, to get into baking and then what, if anything, kind of moved you more into baking rather than traditional cooking? Well, when I was younger, I always used to watch, like, you know, those kid baking shows, like kid baking championships, or even the adult one. It was really inspiring. And I was like, wow, how can they do that? And they're only like nine years old. <laughs> but um, I did watch like a few YouTube videos that recently that inspired me to really get started and to do it myself and as far as cooking I do cook as well I enjoy cooking but I just don't have that passionate feeling towards cooking that I have towards baking so that's why I decided to pursue baking rather than cooking even though I enjoy it okay great great and uh do you remember what was the first um, thing that you made or, or baked and you were like oh I'm on to something here they were lemon cupcakes I baked those mm -hmm. um my first time baking by myself it was a box cake I believe it was strawberry or something like that and then I decided that I wanted to bake from scratch so I started with a recipe from one of my favorite bakers called preppy kitchen and that is what got me started baking from scratch. Great. I mean, cupcakes, they sound yummy, 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 yummy. And so um, just baking, like you said, there are several, um, several shows that are out there, um, you know, about baking, like you said, both for young people and for adults. Um, and just any grocery store that you go into, right? There's always shelves and shelves full of baked goods. 
So it is definitely a booming business. What do you do to make sure that your products stand out from what else is out there? Well, locally, I think my age by itself helps me to stand out because my customers, they always comment on how I advanced I am for my age. So, and then I have a pinned post on my Facebook. So like when people visit my Facebook, that's the first thing you see. So they're like, wow, she's 15 and she's this talented. I want to support her. So I think that really helps me stand out from other local bakeries in my area. Okay. Okay. Um, something that I noticed um, on your Instagram bio, you have that you are a, what is it, a certified food handler. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about what, what is that, what that means, and um, just, you know, what's the importance that you feel like you want to make sure people know that about you? To become a certified food handler, you have to go through a course and you watch like a series of videos where you basically just learn like food safety, how to like not cross contaminate allergies, etc. Um, and then you take a test at the end and then you earn your certificate of food handling. I think it builds trust between me and my customers. They know that I know how to be safe with what they're consuming. So I think it's really important if you're gonna be selling um, food items that you go ahead and get that certificate. Awesome, that is very good. And I would, I would agree that you do wanna know who is preparing your yummy baked goods, is uh, taking all the necessary precautions and even going a bit beyond uh, the norm to make sure that everything is safe. Um, I really I really like that you have established for yourself that type of standard of excellence, right? And what it is that, that you do. Um, how do you then stay in touch with kind of what's going on in your industry, right? I've seen, um, I've seen some pictures. I've not had a chance to taste the yumminess yet. Notice I said yet, but we place them in order. Um, but I have seen some beautiful pictures of what it is that you've done. So, so in working with that standard of care in terms of what I've seen in your presentation, um, how you carry yourself, you know, um, obtaining the certified food handler, what do you do to keep up with what's going on in your industry and continue to keep yourself like to raising the bar? I do a lot of research to keep myself updated um so like the virginia cottage laws i like to stay updated on those also by just like following in the path of um more popular bakers that are in the place that i want to build up to so. okay sounds great have you ever thought about doing um classes for maybe other teenagers or even adults that are looking to learn how to bake? Yes, I have. I think once I get out of school for this year, so towards the summer, I might hold a class for like younger children mm -hmm. or something like that, maybe on like the meal meeting and we decorate some cupcakes or something like that. Great, great. Sounds like fun. It is definitely something, um, you know, cooking, uh, just in general, I think is a skill uh, mm -hmm. that is necessary, right? You always want to be able to eat. <laughs> but if you, if you can cook and you can do well, right, other than just hot dogs and french fries, <laughs> uh, I think that even puts you a little bit above, right? So great. Definitely we'll be looking out for those cooking lessons or, you know, whatever it is that you would be sharing with the community. That would be great. Um, and so how long now have you been in business? Um, I've been in business for about 11 months. It'll be a year next month. Um, I've been baking for about a year and a half, but I just started cake decorating in May of this year. Great. Ooh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, I would imagine it's a little more detailed um, than the cupcake 
and the decorations that you do because it's a, a bigger entity? Maybe not though. Mm -hmm. It is, okay, all right, yeah. very good. So um, with the amount of time that you have been in business and um, you mentioned you know, you're, you're a sophomore in school and other hobbies that you have. And then of course, you know, there's just life stuff that goes on. Um, what do you do to be able to stay focused and motivated to get done what needs to get done? Like, how do you prioritize things? Time management is a very important skill when you're trying to balance so much. Like you said, school, business, life, trying to be a friend and a daughter and a sister. Um, time management is a very important skill for like any business owner. Um, to stay motivated, I think about where I want to be with my business. Um, like I think about my future, where I want my business to be, how I want to build my portfolio. And it's really easy to get unmotivated when times get hard or when stuff gets overwhelmed. But I always think about what I want my future to look like. And that keeps me on track. That is great. And kind of who, if you don't mind sharing, who do you have um, in your corner as support or, you know, what, what do you do to help generate that support, especially during those times, like you said, sometimes you just don't feel motivated. It's like, I, I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to get out of my pajamas. I don't know like that sometimes. So who do you have there that helps you be like, no, you got this, keep going. You're on the right track. Definitely my mom. She's probably the most supportive person in my life. She always has helped me keep track, stay on track um, throughout my life. And definitely now that I have so much going on, so. Great, very good. Um, and so during the time that you've been in business, was there a particular challenge that you encountered that you found really helped you to grow um, as a person or you know, just grow as a, as a business owner? Definitely, like I said before, time management and money management. I'm still working on the money management part and like savings and all of that. Um, but time management is really important and definitely helped me grow as a person. Like I said, I have to balance life on top of school and business. So yeah, I think any business owner needs to learn that. I definitely have to agree with you on that. So um, what are some, if you don't mind sharing, some of the goals that you do have for your business? You mentioned you had been thinking about doing the class, you know, um, for others and teaching some techniques maybe over the summer. Are there any other goals um, for your business that you can share with us? My biggest goal, of course, is to protect my craft. So like, um, get better at decorating cakes and cookies. Um, um, oh, sorry. Yeah, perfecting my craft and bringing in new customers. I do really want to do the Zoom class and a lot of people have actually been requesting that. Um, I'm working on shipping baked goods I think I'm going to start with like cupcakes so that I can then expand my business at least nationally and then eventually internationally. So that's one of my biggest goals. And then for my future, I'm thinking like far of in the future um, of a storefront. That's something that I'm considering. Sounds good. Sounds good. I love all that talk about expansion. That is great. Um, what recommendations or suggestions would you have um, for anyone in our community that's listening and they're a teenager and they're thinking about getting into business, whether it's cooking or baking or lip gloss or jewelry, but just from a teenage entrepreneur perspective, what would you suggest or recommend to them? I would say if you're thinking about it, then definitely just go do it. Um, it was one of the best decisions I have ever made. Mm -hmm. And I would also say that you are not gonna have everything figured out in the beginning. I thought I had everything figured out in the beginning and turns out I didn't, I still don't have everything figured out. So just 
work at your own pace, take your time, but definitely go for it. Sounds great. Um, is there anything else just about you um, or your business or things that you do that we haven't covered that you would want our community to know about? Um, no, not really. I think I've covered everything. Okay. Great. So uh, for anyone that's listening and they're like, ooh, 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 I want some, I want some, I've got to try some of that yumminess, how can they contact you? My Instagram is Kate by Kanija, spelled K-A-Y-K-E by B-Y-K-E-N-Y-Z-J-A-H. And my Facebook is Cake Bakery, same spelling of cake, just with bakery at the end. So K A Y K E B A K E R Y. Great, great. Thank you for that. And we will also just have those links in the bottom too. So for those of you who didn't have a chance to write it out as she was sharing, you can just click on the link and get right there to place your order and support. Well, thank you again so much for taking time to talk with us today. This has been great. Really appreciate all of the great advice and recommendation that you gave um, for other teenagers that are out there thinking about business. Um, thank you again for sharing some of your experiences and for emphasizing those um, really, really important essential skills and particularly time management, right? To help stay focused, um, not just in business, but also in life. Thank you very, very much. That's what we had for today, everyone. And remember, everything in creation was created with a gift inside of it. That includes you. So go out and share your gift with the world. Until next time, bye-bye.